The Gogeta here is pretty cool, but no. Oh, wow. Are you serious? Yossi Pokemon. This is uh, from This is from the 90s. <laughs> It looks like it's raining again. It feels like every time in the past few weekends that we've been going garage sale hunting that it's been raining, but uh, you know, there was a few cancellations. However, the garage sale that we're going to is not just one garage sale, it's a multi-family garage sale, so it should be the entire neighborhood. So we're on our way there now. It says rain or shine, and hopefully there's going to be some collectibles, but if not, stuff that we can actually purchase to flip, and we're on our way now. Okay, that garage sale was a bust. It had nothing interesting at all. You know, I, I try to go without too much expectations because sometimes I get pleasantly surprised. It said collectibles in the ad, but I don't know what type of collectibles they were talking about. They didn't have DVDs, they didn't have video games, they had no toys, they had nothing that I would deem collectible. I mean, maybe uh, there were some antiques I, I, I couldn't see, but I couldn't really see antiques. So it was a complete bust, and unfortunately that was supposed to be a neighborhood garage sale, but I guess it was just like the two neighbors got together uh, and they just kind of put a tent over the garage where, uh, you know, obviously it was raining, so they, they had to protect all the stuff somehow. So now we have uh, pretty much a whole day without any garage sales to go to, so we're trying to salvage this day since uh, I don't want this to be a complete bust. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab breakfast and then there is a flea market that's somewhere close to this area that we're going to go to and it's called Dr. Fleas and we're going to walk around there see if we can find any collectibles, anything good or anything to flip for value. Here we have it, Dr. Fleas Antiques and Flea Market. They have over 400 vendors and I know there's one place there that sells like video games, it's another place that has comic books and toys. So we're gonna check out those booths and maybe there's some stuff set up outside. Maybe we'll find some collectibles there. What do you think? Think it's underrated? Now dig on this. <laughs> you have good one. I know, I have a ton of them. The Gogeta here is pretty cool, but 95, that's pretty pricey. How much are your uh, loose Marvel Legends here? Uh, they're priced individually. Price I think individually? for the small guys, I want uh, 15 each. 15 each for the yeah. smaller ones? Yeah, for like the, for the Scorpion, yeah. They're, they're, they're all clean and they're tight, they're all good shape. Yeah, okay. 15, the bigger guys are 25. I mean, the market's open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys have any uh, Pokemon? Like, yeah. Magic cards? And then I have some loose guys. I got loose ones. Can I see the loose uh, yeah. cards? Pokemon, right? Yeah. yeah. I got Yu Gi Oh! too, but those I haven't really priced. Pokemon. Here. Some are here. Oh, and uh, yeah, there's some in elastic there. Oh, this is more of the, the older stuff. Yeah, I think they're 1999 or something. Um, the year, yeah, right. Show me 
is cool. Pokemon's really hyped up right now, eh? So I would do like fifty dollars for them. Like you know, I need something, something halfway, yeah. you know. Can I see the scorpion there? Yeah. Yeah, you see, he has a price there, yeah. Yeah, I can't say. Would you do sixty for all this? Yeah, I said ten to you. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll do this for sixty. Okay. Then. Thank you, boss. Okay, uh, we had we found a valley village right near Dr. Flea, so maybe we'll have some uh, extra luck now. Four. We don't have a price on these. It's so calm. Place like two though. Oh wow. It's got everything. Oh, uh, the case is cracked though. No way. Are you serious? It's a board game. No, but no, it, it should be cards in there too, though. Of course, the cards are uh, in there. This is kind of cool. Yahtzee Pokemon. This is a uh, from ninth. This is from the nineties. I don't know if it's got everything. Though. Let's check. Does it have everything here? Yeah. Hmm. Think so. Yeah. The Yahtzee. Yeah, but it's so nice. It's a lamp. Oh, it's a lamp. Yeah, this is a lamp. Disney Baby's Nursery Lamp. Wow. Look at this. Do we have a baby? No. <laughs> we actually are just resellers. <laughs> Not the most eventful day. There wasn't a lot of garage sales, unfortunately, due to rain. The first one we went to was supposed to be a neighborhood garage sale, but I guess it was just a few neighbors got together in the same garage and sold a few things. We went there because we saw collectibles on the listing. There wasn't really collectibles, at least not the collectibles that I was thinking of. Sometimes I like to go there without messaging the people who are having the garage sale because I sometimes if you show too much interest in a few items, they might just look at eBay comps and stuff, and I'm not looking to buy at ebay prices i'm trying to buy a lot lower so i can potentially sell on ebay we left that place and we went to a flea market not too far away from it called dr fleas there is a booth there that i do go to quite often and by quite often i mean like once or twice a month at the very most it did have some action figures that i was looking at nothing too crazy their prices are usually a little high but they love to barter you can get them down to pretty good prices if you can actually get enough stuff to purchase from them uh, they actually had some Pokemon cards. I was going through them. Originally, he wanted $50 for all these Pokemon cards. And I, I said, what about 20? And then he said 40. And I was kind of gonna walk away. And I was like, well, you know, maybe they'll have Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something else so I can bundle it all together. He pulls out a massive stack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I noticed there was a few foils here and there. I don't know too much about Yu-Gi-Oh. So I added those on top. And then I said, well, would you throw in a figure for a 60 as well? So I got the Scorpion figure and that sells for a little over $30. The cards that I actually separated from the Pokemon lots already made back all the money that I've spent on that for like $60. Plus I got a lot of other colored cards that I was going through that are like rares that go for over one, two to $3. But these were the ones that I was most uh, surprised by Misty's Cloister. Uh, that was actually a pretty decent card, a, a first edition Ampoon. But this, these two are the ones that I was really, really shocked to see. And that was War Turtle and we have Bulbasaur, both Shadowless, not first edition Shadowless, but these two together almost pay for the entire lot of Pokemon cards that I bought. And there was also a uh, rare promo Mew, not the foil version, this is the non-foil version. But overall, uh, I thought it was a pretty decent day. You know, we got the Lego bucket as well later at the Valley Village. The Valley Village there was actually in uh, Etobicoke area, which is really far from where I live in uh, East Toronto. And they also had a Disney babies like kind of lamp. 
it was, uh, I couldn't find the exact sold comps, but I found someone who listed almost the exact same one for about $80. We got it for about $12.99 and the Lego was $7, but we had 20% off that day. So we only ended up spending about $20 including tax, so not too bad. I think we did okay today. I'm expecting to make around $300 from all the stuff that we purchased today and we spent about $80. So not the greatest day for value, but I still think we'll make a lot of our money back regardless. Anyways, let me know what your favorite purchase that I made today in this video was down below in the comment section, and I'll be sure to read it as I read every single comment that you guys leave. And also, remember, may your carts always be full.